Well, the sounds of gunfire still echo inside the heads of those people who survived the San Bernardino massacre. Sounds and images that will haunt them for the rest of their lives. KCAL 9's Randy Page looks at what is being done to help them cope. The San Bernardino County Environmental Health Department had a total of 85 employees when the holiday party began on Wednesday. 70 of them were inside the room when the shooting started. When it was over, 14 were dead, 21 injured, and the remaining 35 survivors are now suffering with deep mental wounds. The county immediately provided a crisis phone line and walk-in counseling services, but we have learned some of the survivors wanted more help. We were contacted by sources in the environmental health community who were telling us many of these survivors needed the grief counselors to come to them and to meet with them in a group and that some were feeling abandoned and alone. We're going to do everything we can to reduce or minimize the trauma as much as possible. County spokesperson Felisa Cardona says it has taken some time to mobilize resources, but she says the county is pulling out all the stops to get these survivors the help they need. It's a shock to the system, so to speak, to have a tragedy of this magnitude happen to the county. Um, right now we're all mobilizing to try to make that happen and make sure that our employees are taken care of. Cardona says the survivors in the environmental health department will not be expected to return to work with all of the other county employees on Monday morning. She says plans are being developed to minimize the trauma. It's devastating and it's going to take us a long time to recover. If, if any of us ever recover. In San Bernardino, Randy Page, KCAL 9 News.